we drink tequila, we talk. Welcome to Team Tequila Talks. Talks. Let's do it. This is like so a lot of times with the daily harvest, I'll make them as a smoothie. Totally. But then just add like an ounce of tequila. tequila. For it's like this is side. breakfast, but daddy's having a bad morning. <laughs> Legit. I look like a kid with this tank top on. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It worked for the mocktail situation. <laughs> Cheers. And you know what? This Cheers. is, uh, you say you look like a kid. I, I mean, I don't think you do. Kids don't have those muscles. Okay? I know. <laughs> well, if they do. But this drink, ooh. Isn't it delicious? Oh, so refreshing. I can't even taste the tequila. But is that this, a good or bad thing? It's a, I mean, it's a dangerous thing. It's dangerous. Exactly. It'll just keep going. But this can be a, a mocktail or just a, like summer yes. refresher. Yes. So it's great for everyone. It's great for the family. It's great for kids. Because you know why? It's so refreshing. Because especially with this weather in LA, you can not only hydrate with actual just water or spring water. It's like, no, you have to eat the water. So eat your cucumbers, your watermelon, cantaloupe, spinach, celery, like all of those things. But what's in here is frozen watermelon, coconut water, also really good for hydration and electrolytes. And then there's also cayenne pepper to give it a spice. Not required, but I love a spicy cocktail. And there's also spirulina. Yes. Yeah. And that's Mark Strong from the House of Strong. We're welcoming him back. It's so nice to Miss have you, guys. you back yeah. with your host, Cassandra Gina Mel and Sharon Gonzalez. Welcome to Team Tequila Talks with our summer refresher. Do we have a name for this drink yet? You're the chef. You get to pay. Mm. Not yet. It has I feel to- like during our happy hour tomorrow, we'll create something. Yes. Better. And you know what? It's basically, I like the warming effect on my throat. Like, See, it's I think it's tucked. Cooling. Yeah. It's well the I'm tasting the cayenne yeah. and it kind of gets it like kind of builds. Yeah. And right now I'm hoarse because I was yelling at my sister the other day. I'm hoarse because <laughs> Earlier I got today. that weird summer flu that's been going around. Not the COVID. You it's had it a few weeks ago. I had we it. are all COVID free at this I, table. I, yes, <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, you never know these days. <laughs> right now. But I got that weird summer flu that's been going around that just kind of sore throat body aches and it was relatively mild just annoying right like you forget that there's these classic diseases running around i feel like my throat is still a little hoarse so if i sound a little that's why yeah it's well, all <laughs> hopefully the cayenne works i know, I know. This, well this is very refreshing on the throat it's interesting too that you said in la i mean i think this is everywhere but in la that you said people drink all this water this spring water this filtered water and there's that old I don't want to say myth because for a time doctors and wellness experts really did think that this was the rule of thumb, but that you should be drinking an ounce of water for every pound of body weight or half. And, and, and the thing is, is if you like, you see those people that have those giant jugs, it's like a, it's like a gallon or gallon and a half jug. And it says, you know, keep drinking. You can do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And it's because of misinformation because some people will say, drink all of this water. So that's why the water bottles have all of these, the goals, the times. Right. And it's like, you know, you drink based on the feeling. Well, yeah. Yes. And also, or in if the you're, visual if too. you're not Sorry, putting urine. minerals back in you're your flushing them water, out. You're all you're doing them. is dehydrating yourself. You're peeing so much mm-hmm. that then you're just getting rid of all of those good, like, I think I heard some, even some of your amino acids can like go in your pee if yeah. you drink too much water. There's a thing where it's like anything, what is, what is the saying when they say, um, too much of anything is a bad thing. Yeah. And I think we think of water, like maybe you can't have too much of it, but I do think like I get sick when I, when I drink too much water, I feel like a little nauseous. You're basically drowning. Well, <laughs> the other thing is, is you're not really, a lot of people aren't counting water from other sources. Like they're yeah. not counting the fruit that they're eating. They're not counting the liquids and maybe a soup or a bone broth. They're not counting water based yeah juices or any of these things like even coffee sherry doesn't taste it <laughs> <laughs> i'm about to get in trouble um even water in coffee does still count towards your water total mm. um and it's not even like you know they say oh co- coffee can be a diuretic cheap coffee can be a diuretic and that's because of the toxins and mold that can be on your mass produced super cheap and poorly produced mm. coffee mm. if you get quality beans i mean i think dave asprey championed this has this whole like we get 
Latte. your we do yeah <laughs> um, we get your coffee but get quality coffee that is mold free and that is produced in a manner that keeps all of the benefits of coffee without having all of these toxins or or the um, the positive things stripped during production yeah and in that case. You are getting your water. I mean, you're not going to... I notice that I have to pee immediately if I drink like a... I try not to drink Starbucks ever. But sometimes you... Better not. No, I do. I try not to. (laughs) But sometimes when you're like in an airport or on the road or whatever and someone's like... True, true. And I I only get a black coffee from Starbucks and I keep my own little stevia in my bag. Um, But I don't do any of the... Frappa, Frica, you mean fri- Frankenchino. A, Starbucks is a dessert, is a liquid dessert bar. Yeah, it is yeah. Not, those are huge in Asia. They shake. have those dessert we bars. We should call yeah, it a, a Fragacino. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenchino. Put some hair on your chest, Chino. They have, um, I, the Food Babe has a great account and I follow yes. um, her stuff and she does what I do where it's like, hey, you can have these holiday fun cocktails, put, you can make a cocoa mint for you know, the holidays or do a pumpkin spice, but it doesn't have to have all this Shit. garbage in it. Right. Yeah. It doesn't have to have all of that crap in it. And so she is, you know, similar to the videos that I've done in the past yeah. of like, here's how to make a better version of your coffee. And I love that she rags on Starbucks. Yeah. Love it because she just goes after them saying, this is the same chemical found in plastic. Why are you putting it in your coffee? It's just not necessary. Mm-hmm. Right? It's just not necessary. Starbucks is fast food. It is. People don't realize that the five minutes it takes to brew a cup of coffee puts years on your life right. because the gas you take to drive. I know people who work from home now who still get up and go to Starbucks. And I told them, you know, you're just addicted to the caramel sugar right like your body is now chemically altered to need that amount of sugar well, it's an artificial substance yeah. and what so, happens and when you, you put an artificial mm-hmm. substance in your body is just like you're saying mm. it becomes addicted because it's like an msg where it is mm. a, it's a, it's a flavor enhancer and it and goes it's like the long-term brain. side effects which is actually really scary i i know so many people who are addicted to sugar they don't even know it and like i won't name names but obviously like someone if you could have four ginger l's and at one time, like, at a, and you keep cracking the can open, open, you might want to like reassess. Are you thirsty? Cause then have water or drink or drink eat, your veggie, or eat your, eat your water, have a celery. And then they're like, then they, after that, they, they said, Oh my God, Sherry, you love sweets. I don't even eat sweets. And I went zip it because it wasn't the place or time. Like, hey asshole. You just had four ginger ales. Each of those is like equivalent to a Snickers. Yeah. And with your pasta. So I want to touch on too, we're going to get to some, some, we're going to branch out on nutrition a little bit today, but before we do, I've got to touch on oat milk again, because I just read more research and this is a true fact and I can happily send the link on the Instagram or in the comments or whatever that when they alter the oats, we're not, and I'm not even talking about all the other garbage that they yeah. add to it, the like seed oils, oils, the processing. Like guns, I'm yeah. talking about just the process of chemically altering the oats actually completely messes with the molecular structure of the oats and it it completely changes the way that your body processes it. So now it has the same GI index as a can of soda. So one oat milk latte is basically like drinking a Coca-Cola. Well, my husband sent me your little, you ran a story, Rick sent me, and he was like, oh, damn it, because he's a what huge oat milk. But I just switched him to Tashe. Is it, no, it's it's Tashi, Tashi. It's, it's pistachio milk, pistachio oh, yeah. milk, and it's female owned. And they have on the thing, not oat milk, way cleaner. And they yeah. just changed their labeling. Like, you know what? That's great fucking marketing. It is. Because it'll, and the only thing they have here that is kind of like, it's a stabilizer is dip potassium phosphate. And it's like a stabilizer. But I looked it up and it can, can be harmful for you if you're in your elderly years in large amounts. But mm. I just put a little bit in my coffee. I'm not like killing it. Yeah. It's yeah. just, you know, you, you can't have cups well, of it. And you can make your own nut milks, but the difference is, is that oats are not a nut. They are a grain. Yeah. And when you try to break Wait, down go a back, grain. back, back that up. Mm-hmm. I'll back it up. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Oat milks are a grain. So they're going to process very differently than nut milks. Mess and you can, you can make your own nut milk. You can make your own oat milk and not put oils and preservatives and thickeners and emulsifiers and all of the crap that is put into processed oat milk. Mm -hmm, And it's, you're still changing Mm -hmm. 
the chemistry of the oat because grains have to be cooked. They have to be processed in order for you to and eat And most them. importantly, they're not even give, getting the nutritional value There's from the item because it's no value. longer an oat and it's no longer just an almond but, milk. Right. And it also tastes like fucking cardboard. Yeah. yeah right? Not like vibe. these people that say that. The, I feel like the pistachio milk is so creamy because pistachio yeah. is like a fatty, fatty nut. Yeah. Which is why you only want to splash, but it, that's be, fine for your coffee. It totally is. You maybe want, don't want to drink a whole glass of honestly, no, it's very like it's a little thicker, I would say, than like an oat milk or an almond. But the the company is they have an unsweetened vanilla and they have a vanilla, but it's they put dates in it, so it's more on the like lower glycemic base of nut milk of uh, coffee additives or milk if you want to put it in your cereal or something. And fun fact, I do not for my smoothies. I do not actually consume no, nut milk or oat milk. Like it's not even in my closet. Not my you closet. You have a lot of my coconut fridge. water. You do a lot of coconut water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but it makes sense. You train a lot and like skin, you know. And then also too with coconut water, with smoothies, the texture of the smoothie is 10 times better. It's true. I do right? mostly just water. Even when, so I do the Daily Harvest, which is a company that you look them up. And if you don't want to make your own nut milks, they have the nut milk The pods. nut pods are amazing because They're amazing. when we travel, I love having those in Wait, so what's the in the pot? It is just condensed, um, like on the like ground. Pulp. Yeah, it's just pulp, mm. and then you and you add water, it. and you recon. So it's kind of like a, a con- almond milk from concentrate, I guess. Except yeah. for it's it's the ingredients are insanely clean. It's like no, it's you look at the ingredients and it says almond sea salt. It's just yeah. that they have perfectly portioned it to where they say one cube per smoothie or two cubes yeah. and water if you want straight. I, I just put it in a carafe and it's good for, you know, a few Ooh. days. Well, I froze mine when I went to New York and I like deep froze it and put it in ice packs and put it in my actual luggage. And when I got there, by the time I got there, it was still pretty frozen. Ooh, I love that. Why did you just not send it to New York? Why did because you not <laughs> like, that's a lot of work well, Let me tell you why. Because New York is oh, not, shit. I'm not trying to shit on New York, but New York is not LA. People don't play ball like here. If I would have called the hotel here, I would have been like, hey, I'm coming in. I have a package. Look, True. In, in New York, like you don't have a room number. And if it's not addressed to the person whose room it's under, then you can't. I'm like, well, we don't have a room number because we're not checked in yet. And they're like, sorry, we don't. We, we'll just return it if we send a package here. New York does not play ball like California does. And that's like not a rag. It's just they're not customer service is not their strong suit. Yes. Man. Yeah. And here in LA, they accommodate our needs a lot. Because celebrity culture. You don't know who's who here. Maybe you can be just tech. needy here. Well, you don't know. Like my girlfriend was saying, like, you know, you're high maintenance here. Well, like someone that you may judge to look like kind of grungy could be some tech billionaire. You know, right. we have all of that Silicon Valley's right there. People take a helicopter down for lunch and they look kind of they don't they don't dress in like Fendi Gucci Prada. They literally have on like some Keds. But, like, they're worth a lot of money. So if you don't kind of have customer service on that level, you can get fired yeah. or sued. No. Okay, so we're, I mean, we obviously always touch on nutrition. But this particular cocktail, which we haven't worked on the name yet, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's purple and lovely. But well, since um, we're talking about skin, we're, we can call it, like, keep it beautiful or, like. Ooh. Or, mm, we're going to have to work on this. We're going to have to work on it. Okay, so what does spirulina do for the skin? So spirulina is a protein. So what it does for the skin is basically it starts in the gut. So when it's in the gut, you cleanse out your gut. Good for the microbiome and it prevents breakouts. And it also helps with the hydration look of your skin and the elasticity of your skin. Oh, okay. So we've done collagen before, which I think is a nice ongoing, and then how useful it's, yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. But I think that there's so much more to just collagen. Collagen is talking about the elasticity of your skin and the ability for it to move. And so you can smile and not get wrinkles. And we just produce less collagen as we age. That's I mean, that is a fact real life, true fact. Which is why we now have all of these collagen creamers and collagen hydrators and collagen proteins. Which the jury is still out on if you can drink collagen and it goes to where it needs to go like know. yeah remember, remember I, I did all that honestly i refrain for my skin routine or skin regimen i never have collagen like for me i add it i prefer it spirulina because it's just more benefits and it actually makes sense and it works it does because it's it's found in plants and it's natural and it's clean i mean we're getting into this area where we're going to talk about some clean beauty now guys i was doing some research for this and honestly it freaked me out so hard body that I was sitting on my bed and I went and I, um, I'll talk about the website later and I 
typed in all of my go-to tinted moisturizers and I'm a very basic makeup wearer. Oh no, you're scaring me now. And then I went and I was like, what is this ingredient? And it was like formaldehyde. And I'm like, isn't that illegal? Formaldehyde yeah. is what they put into dead people to preserve them. That's what happens in the embalming process. Yes, and they and it's unregulated. So basically clean beauty. Just to give just a quick overview. We we got a request on Instagram from one of our followers. She was looking she's like you talk about clean food. Yeah. You talk about 100% agave. But you haven't talked about like what you put on your skin. And I'm like, well, we probably have ignored this subject hard because we don't want to know because well i don't think that's entirely true because we i mean sure you make your own deodorant for christ's sake right yes. like you I, I feel like this it's just a much slower process because it's really hard to follow what is damaging in the long term there's this documentary on netflix and it's all about you read the labels and it says natural and toxic gentle beauty. Toxic, toxic beauty there it is natural and gentle and then 10 years later she's infertile and has cancer because she's been using this stuff on her body your skin is your largest organ in your body and it is one of the ways that your body detoxes which is why if you are sick or even if you put anything into your body that you it would consider a toxin. The best thing you could do is get in the shower and scrub that shit off because if it's sitting on your skin, your, your skin is going to reabsorb it. Yep. It's also why they say get into an Epsom salt bath yep. because that is the way that your body can absorb the most magnesium. So it's really going to help with muscle cramps, soreness, and any and any yep. of those things, lady times, etc. cetera. Right. Um, so you really have to pay attention to what you're putting on your skin because it goes – into your body and it's really hard to keep track but of what safe and is also not. too it's not what just goes on the skin it's more of like avoiding what to put on the skin but also just important is what you feed your gut because yep. your skin someone's skin will literally tell you about what they eat and what they are yeah you know well i feel like that's probably the reason why the beauty industry is the most unregulated trillion quadrillion dollar industry is because you can be eating healthy like we all are but 99% of the stuff we use, hand soap, face, hair care, lotions, are all containing things that are unregulated. And I hate the word unregulated because I hate the word regulate. I'm like, don't regulate me. So, <laughs> but, but, then, but then you sometimes want the people in charge or, I don't know, the powers that be to make sure you're just getting basic, good, healthy stuff that you're putting. Because we all wash our face every day with the soap and we put on more. You know, at night I have a night mask. Daytime I have my day moisturizer. I put oils on my face. And when you find something that works, you pretty much use it your whole life. Yeah. And that's I mean, you. I use the same deodorant for like yeah, I 10, rotate. 50. I, I, I'd say make close to 20 years. I started using it when I was like 14. And then I'd say when I was about 30. All of a sudden, I was getting these weird, um, like, itching, itching fits. <coughs> and I was like, what is happening? And then on the days that I would forget to wear deodorant, like, I go, oh, well, it's getting a little bit better. And I did this little experiment, and I just didn't wear deodorant for, like, a week. And it basically completely went away. Yeah. And so I switched to a natural deodorant, and there's a bunch of brands out there. But some of them can leave you funky, honestly. I mean, like, I really like Native. <laughs> Native is good, but then it burned me because they have too much sodium bicarbonate, which is like whatever that it is. is. But I mean, I think the biggest thing with skin, and to like to answer the question from who you know whoever asked it on Instagram, it's really about making little improvements day to day, like swapping out. For example, are you using dryer sheets because those are loaded with chemicals? Anything Instead, with fragrance. You, anything, anything with, with fragrance. Fragrance. fragrance you yeah. don't you want. You can on your swap body. out. Like think about your. You like. Are you using Tide? Maybe switch to something that is free dye clear. free, yeah. free and clear, etc. And, and like listen, parabens. you don't have to go to a crazy. Uh, you don't have to go out of your way to get something that is super woo woo or mom and pop. Yeah. Like you can just get so like it's all about taking steps in the right direction. Mm -hmm. What can I do to swap out my tide to maybe like seventh generation? Right. What can I do to swap out my but even secret seventh, even for seventh native? Seventh generation was on that list. This I know, is what but I'm it's saying. about making steps yeah. in the in the right direction. But if you don't so really quick, let's just say what clean beauty is. Clean beauty is anything that doesn't contain harmful additive ingredients that over time 
in small micro amounts get absorbed by the epidermis and goes into your organs. That's like what clean beauty is. Now, the words natural, organic, all that stuff are not regulated. So when you see it, you tend to lean towards, towards the natural yes. deodorant. So these people can just but, slap and those terms on? They Natural, and organic, free, and clear. All that is not. It's like you have sun to bum. I know. You add, well, sun bum is, that's on the list. Yeah. I have it. So basically, you... Where as consumers, we go and we say, you know, if this is natural, I would lean towards that more than Dove. You know what I mean? So, yeah. but you think you're making micro adjustments, adjustments, but you're really not. And what I learned just doing a little bit of this research is that the EU and Canada, they banned 1300, 1300 ingredients in all of their clean beauty, which just covers hair, skin, makeup, all yeah. that. And we've done 11. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked at, I mean, this is a soft research and pro- hopefully we'll get an expert on that can kind of deep dive with us. But I looked at the 11 we banned and they're not even the big guys. They're just like the guys of, they're more the natural easy targets. Well, they're natural ingredients that actually make a difference. They're actually, I think one was like, it w- was a spirulina additive also that when added and activated, you actually can cure like acne. Like, so they banned 11 ingredients that actually have when used chemically at that level in, in large concentrated amounts could actually help with acne. So they ban those so they can just, so, the, so that's why I'm saying it gets really shady. kind of shady. shady, but the big four that every website, even the scientists at Harvard said the big four ingredients you absolutely most certainly do not want to ever put in your skin or on your clothes is triclosan, fragrance, formaldehyde, platelets, and parabens. He said that these things are probably the worst things you can put in your body, let alone on top of your body. So what's the the word that I kept seeing that that comes up um, is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it wouldn't be an episode of Team Tequila Talks if we didn't Google. Is it uh, phthalate? No, it's la- phthalate. It's P H. The P H. I call it P H T H A L. I call it T E S. I just call it platelets, but that's not how you say it. No, it's tillates. Is it's it? Tillates. Tillates. Yeah. Okay. I did the pronunciation. Okay, tillates. Oh, okay. Tillates. Okay. Um, it's found in everything. Yeah. It's actually, I look, every last makeup, even yeah. my my. I was like, why is it on my mascara? Like I. So basically, if you want to go. There's two resources that I found, and the beauty counter, the CEO of that of that company, she is one. She has hair care. She has. I just ordered many things of hers today, yet yeah, last night, because I do want to actually find something that's good. And it's obviously not the early '90s where it was breaking you out, and making your skin green. I feel like the technology for clean beauty is probably eons and eons above. But she breaks it down. I mean, this is her life's work, and this woman is, you know, she's like a dog with a bone. She lobbies Congress to talk about these things. She tells all the Congress people she went there and was like, you know, what you're putting on your skin matters. It's not just what we're putting in our bodies. Cause if we're putting good things in our bodies, but then re adding it every morning and night, mm-hmm. we wash our hair at least three times a week. Like why aren't we regulating these things? And so she basically created a beauty company called beauty counter. And it's amazing. Like the reviews, I think um, goop uh, Gwyneth Paltrow loves her. They're like friends and they sell a lot of her stuff on goop. I would say goop.com beautycounter.com. They have the best resources for top to bottom hair, yeah. face, skin, feet scrubs. I mean, all the things you love that, you know, makes you feel relaxed, nail polish, yeah. which does something get in there. And what I did was I went to environmental working group, skin deep database, and I will link this. They created a website where you can enter any product and it tells you the toxic toxicity level and it lists all of the ingredients. Now, what oh. I also learned is they don't have to put every ingredient. These people had to hire lawyers. Yep. They had to call the company and they were like, oh, trade secrets, trade secrets. They were like, yeah, they love to hire behind that. That's nutrition too. Uh, it's yeah. nutrition too. And so then finally they were able, the, then the government was like, there is no, not humans have a right to know what they're consuming on that level. Absolutely. If it's not like a, extra salt, then like, no, you can't, you have to say it. So she writes down. And so everything you I typed in NARS, I typed in my Charlotte Tilbury, even my lip gloss. And if it's not on your mouth, so it's you're uh, absorbing it on your face and you're also also eating eating it. it. Yeah. And so if it's not a level zero to two, you want to avoid. And all my shit was like eight. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And then I'm interested. I haven't done this yet. I'm going to have to do this. So I will link this website. And I think if you're interested in getting any clean beauty products, I would go to Goop because they have the best stuff and beauty counter. And I think between those two, you could find everything you possibly need. So I, I mean, like I tried to make 
regular upgrades. And I mean, that's I, that's one question that we get sometimes is where do I start? And, and that usually pertains to nutrition, but I think it applies here too, is a lot of people, there's so much information out there. Where do I start? I know. How do I know what I do and don't put on my skin? That's true. And that's and the there's challenge so much, for everybody. It yeah. really is. And I think it's, this is kind of what I was saying to my point earlier is you slowly improve because if I would have even gone back and told my 20 year old self, half of the things that I knew about nutrition and even some of the things that I'm learning about beauty, health and wellness and supplementation, mm-hmm. I would have been so overwhelmed. Yes. Right. So it's just about taking steps in the right direction. So maybe you do start by swapping out Tide for seventh generation, yeah. but then you maybe swap out t- yeah. a seventh generation for Molly's, you yeah. know? Yeah. I love the Molly soap sets because they're, great. they're because they have none of the chemical garbage mm-hmm. in it. I also use those crystal wash balls. And again, I don't know why I keep ending up back on laundry. I just did a bunch of laundry <laughs> yesterday. I don't know. Because, because your, your clothes, you're wearing it. It's rubbing up against you. As a kid, I used to get rashes. Yeah. Um, and that was just because of the laundry detergent. Yeah. yeah. And my mom was like, oh, she's got sensitive skin. We've got to get the sensitive allergy mm-hmm. laundry detergent, which, I mean, that kind of fixed it because it was the, back in the 80s, 90s, well, they the, were the free dumping, and clear. They yeah. were just dumping chemicals, dumping yeah. chemicals. And I think that... You know, even with the laundry aspect, I use those crystal balls yeah. and they have the natural crystals and they're good for a thousand washes. It's like 35 is it, bucks. Is it soap? No, it's Chris. It's a like cleansing crystals. They are balls so you add it to that have your... lots of, you throw these, they're, they're about the size of a softball okay. and you put two of them in your laundry and they don't work on super tough stains, but I have a stain remover for that. I have a natural yeah, stain I have remover. A natural, yeah. yeah, and oh, I need to come to your place. Yeah, I will get you set up. But wait, so you <laughs> yes. add detergent and you throw those in the wash? You do not add detergent. You only use the crystal balls. I'm and it gets you. your panties clean. It See, this is a, this is my problem. Yeah. Honestly, hot Girl, what water. What do you do that your panties are that Honestly, dirty? That you need the extra will- <laughs> strain. I think when I work out, <laughs> when I work out, I sweat in my butt crack. That is a real true fact, and I want them smelling free and clear. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, you can leave it in the sun, and it will kill the bacteria. But it won't get rid of the butt crack smell. That's how you clean the um. That's the how crystal I clean balls. my tights. The crystal balls every like. 10, 100, whatever, uh, uh, washes, you're supposed to put them out in the sun, the same as you would like a meditation crystal. So they regenerate. They like regenerate from the yeah. sun and like. And they're good for a thousand mm, washes. Maybe we'll link those too. Yeah. Maybe yeah. We'll, I love that. That's a simple thing. And my clothes don't do. smell like anything, but they're clean. Like no, it takes I don't out want the, my clothes. It takes to out the smell. funkiness, yeah. but it doesn't have that. I actually don't like a smell on my clothing. No, me neither. See, I, don't. I don't like a smell on my clothing, but I do buy the laundress. And, and I, I will just... say, like we were talking about taking the small steps. So when I did get rid of fragrances, chemicals, mm-hmm. Now, if a neighbor or someone is using dryer sheets, I get so yeah, irritated. Yeah. I don't use dryer sheets. I'm just sheets. like, it's like I can't go back now. But you can get all of these. I mean, your place always smells so good with the Palo Santo. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I just burn my holy wood. And that's it. That's yeah. all you need. But you can, that's all you, your your house will smell like that yeah. if you burn it. And now there's so many amazing candle companies that, that use clean. natural essential oils instead yeah. of fragrance. Beauty Counter and Goop have some, I mean, I am a, I'm not going to lie. And I love Intersect my, Candle supports small businesses. And, and they, Intersect. <laughs> Intersect is amazing. They're L- made in LA here and they're absolutely divine. I love them too. But I, you know, I love a good candle because I'm all about like a mood. Like Friday candles need to be lit after I pick up my daughter from school. I'm like, okay, this is the end of the week. This weekend, we got to wind down. Yeah. And you can make great swaps. I'm a very like sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco girl. I like it to be a little like heavy. Musky. Like, musky. Yeah. I like yeah. it to feel heavy. And making, and there are some expensive ass candles, even the natural ones. You can get real like a hundred dollars oh, candle. Yeah. Cause they, but, but they're handmade and they're taking their time. And, and I, yeah, I, I'm I a big that. fan of citrus. Mm. And I think that that's a good one too. Like I love citrus for bathrooms. Yeah. Well, it's very uplifting. Right. Yeah. And I'm, that's not what I want when I'm winding down with a bath, but that's just kind of what I want my house to smell like if I'm hanging Fresh. at the house and I'm like, I'm spending time. Yeah there right and i just i just want there to be ambiance that's when especially if there's people coming over yeah. it's uplifting it's social citrus to me is very social and that is a really natural one too even though i know we're, I know we're here you can, boil, you right can now. boil the peels you can boil the peels because you even can. when you when you peel an orange you can that's smell so it in the room good. like yeah. all day and they make the this lady where i live she makes um fragrance drawer packs and they're just like, she like soaks some wood in like lavender and yeah. like eucalyptus and peppermint. And you just, if you want your clothes to smell, if you were to use to that, right. that downy, <laughs> that bounce smell. Yeah. But you can you have. Can pop you, it in your drawer. You can pop it in your drawer and all your panties. See? See? 
No, it's so funny. My mom. Why did you take so much pride? It's the there. most toxic product on the planet. My mom back in the day, she would buy the little paper bags, like an envelope. And it sounds like rocks are in them. Oh, yeah. From bat, Bed Bath & Beyond. Beyond. Oh, my God. Those things will. Yeah. And, and car fragrances. So bad for you. I, car fragrances. Will, and Bath & Body Works. Mind. That's her favorite. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Well, see, and those are all on. Those are all 10 out of 10 no goes. You can't even yeah. walk. They say yeah. even walking in that store for longer than 10 minutes, what you're smelling it's and inhaling. It's so bad. Is, Imagine working there. Wait, but listen to this story. So one of my best friends in L.A., she owns Sculptured L.A., I used to have the wallflower inside of my place, so it smelled great. Like, I didn't really think yeah. that far back then. And she's like, oh, my God, Mark, that is so toxic for you and Kinko. And Your I'm dog. like, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I am that person, too, when someone's like, Sherry, don't do that. But my last little cheat, and I think we're all about moderation here. We're not saying you should go home and, like, excavate because makeup is highly expensive. Yeah. But replace as you go replace type of deal. Go, yeah. But my laundress sheet shampoo was only like a three and i have to wash my bed sheets in it they're only for bed You're sheets. like it's a requirement and my bl- my throws and my blankets and it was a three and i was like well see to me that's within the boundary well that's also just taking steps and one of the one of the people that i i mean i love watching uh just watching following just ingredients on instagram because she has swaps all the time that are amazing but she also will say like we always say it's just a little, it's just a little, it's just a little, but look at all of the things that add up throughout the day, like your dyes, your fragrances. You're not talking about one product. You're talking about a habitual issue and consumption in your home because it has just a little fragrance. But if you are talking about your cleaners, your detergent, your soap, your shampoo, your moisturizer, your, your candles, candles, cleaners. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Everything. And it all adds And not up. even your environment. I like always what you're say, honestly, it's just a lifestyle and it can be challenging to keep up with because there's just so many things. So for fragrance too, I mean, I, I know that we're, <laughs> we're kind of new on this. Don't take our medical advice. You know, I love No, do your own here. research. Don't ever take our medical <laughs> advice here at Team Tequila Talks. Um, but I think that, you know, if we're answering what can we look out for and some of the swaps that we do day to day and we by no means have it figured out. No. I haven't even done the toxin report on my makeup and I'm frankly a little scared. I, I, I <laughs> You're leave, like, I'm not even going to do it. Well, I love Thrive Cosmetics. Um, oh, no. Me too. Me too. And they market as. What about bare minerals? Do you know what I mean? No, they use like these like crystals in their skin. In their well, I like Thrive because they are um, they are they for every product purchased. Well, see, they that's where they get you. Yeah, they do. But for every product purchased, they uh, will donate product to women recovering from cancer or or uh, or abused women. Um, So I and and their products are really good too, and they're not too funky, and they're kind of like basic and natural looking. I think we what we're trying to say is like pick your battles. Yeah, I mean for me, I decided today that I'm going to buy minis. I, I bought some minis. I bought a foundation. And I bought some blush and mascara from um, Beauty Counter. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm going to wait. Give it a try. Yeah. Going to try it. And then once my tinted moisturizer runs out, and if I like it, I'm going to replace it. Okay. So it's going to be a baby step for me. Cause Beauty Counter. Okay, Beauty so check Counter. out Beauty Counter. I and think Goop. The, Goop. And, and Goop. Yep. yep. And I think that the fra- on the fragrance front, there's so many amazing natural fragrances. Every time we go over to Mark's house, it smells like a spa. <laughs> uh-huh. Etsy is a great resource Palo for Santo, handmade. Yeah. eucalyptus you can get at your farmer's market or sometimes even at like yeah. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's yeah. will have it. Yeah. And all you have to do is like pop that in your shower and let it steam while you're taking a shower. Just mm. hang it over your shower head and it just smells spa-like Or just hide like it in a bunch of places. Um, mm. Jasmine is a good one. I don't personally love this smell of jasmine but it, that is a very potent smell naturally yeah. so when you can get jasmine oil any type of clean essential yeah. oil you can always put that in a diffuser yeah um which is a great one because then you can even you can even mad scientist yourself and kind of put together vanilla and orange and you go and you buy the natural essential oil yes yeah. we like- i just my cousin just had a home birth and my other cousin was her doula and she took the baby's humidifier and to make the room for to relax her, she mixed this the most amazing an essential oil mixture in there and made the whole and it was like four different ones mm-hmm. and as it was like blowing out, I was like, What is that? She was like, Everyone's getting tired. That's the point. 
Yeah. Oh. We were all getting sleepy. I was like, I'm getting tired. She's like, yeah. we need to relax. But like, you should make sprays. Like, you can make sprays at home yeah. with the same essential oils. Like, I spray that on my furniture and also, like, my cleaners. Mm-hmm. I put it on the floor, like, everywhere. The gym equipment, like, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why the smell is, like, so strong. It's and just, I, and like, I've replaced everything. a lot of my cleaners, too, with really a Thrive Market. I bought a lot of cleaners off of Thrive Market. Um, but actually, those were coming back. I just did two. I did some vinegar one that I have and another one. They were one. Oh, okay. And you know what's so crazy? You don't even need the product. So, like, I suck at cleaning glass and stainless steel. So I did some research. I used apple cider vinegar and a cloth. Vinegar, yeah. Fridge clean, mirrors clean. I'm like, wow. Well, back in the day, people (laughs) only used vinegar and baking soda to clean. Just one ingredient. Yes, I only grew up using vinegar to clean the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. That's old school. I was raised with my grandmother, and that was old school. She was like, dude, bleach in her house Mm -hmm. was like, it stinks, and then it gets funky. And then, yeah. And And it smells sterile and like hospitally. Yeah, yeah, but bleach, that smell is just so scary. Yeah. But like, yeah. I have to admit, in COVID, I bought like four. I got scared and I bought like four gallons of bleach, <laughs> and I have it in my laundry room. And Rick is always like, "What are you do with this bleach? <laughs> <laughs> what were you plan on actually doing with the bleach?" There's a pandemic happening <laughs> out like, there. They said buy bleach. So I um, another thing that I have in my cabinet that I feel like you cannot go wrong with um, is coconut oil. And I travel with coconut oil just as a body moisturizer. So I get, yeah, I get virgin. Too, get you, and you, can, you can use olive oil as well. But again, check your labels like we always say. But you can use, you can replace your moisturizer that has 49 <laughs> ingredients um, and use coconut oil. I especially use that after sun exposure or pool or beach time because I'm particularly dry. And I tried coconut oil a while ago and thought, well, you know, I'm going to kind of go back to this moisturizer, this moisturizer. And I go, none of these are as good as the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. There it is really naturally relieving and soothing. And it totally moisturizes you. You can, I'm talking about coconut oil from the grocery store. Yeah. 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 You can do, I think it's the unrefined one. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. The virgin stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I love that stuff. You you get a big chunk of it, like a wholesale one. I mean, I have a separate one in my bathroom because I put my hand back in it when I'm putting it, (laughs) when I put it on my arms and legs and I'm like, I don't think people want to cook with that because there's a couple people in my house. Um, That would be unsanitary. I I know. That's why I have a separate, that's why I have a separate one. So, um, okay. We have to, wrap it up pretty soon yeah so so we don't have all of the answers when it comes to beauty by any means we try to make daily improvements and to do our best I think at the end of the day what you don't want is to get stressed out and something to think about and always to remember is that beauty this sounds cliche but it's beauty starts from within and that's also hum slogan but it's truly that is factual information because I actually did it myself. So I truly believe in that statement. That and you're beauty. beautiful, Mark. Thank you. you glow. <laughs> this was work. <laughs> well, on that note, Not literal. Cheers. I have one sip left. I on have a baby I sip. Like cheers. Refreshing. Thank you. House is strong. Mark strong. Oh, oh there we go. There's there some go. audio there for you. There's, there's a, there's, some yeah. ASMR. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Are we going to do a sex episode soon? No, yes, we, we did have to. one. No, did no, one. like like a sex toy episode. Oh. Because I actually did some research on that. Okay. I think we should That'd do that. That'd be fun. Well, thank you guys for joining us at Team Tequila Talks. We'll let you know about that sex episode. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> actually, just Australia wait Gonzalez, right there. <laughs> Mark Strong from the House of Strong. And thank you guys for listening. Bye. But we won't be demonstrating how to use it. We're just going to. No, that would be so aggressive. <laughs> And we'd be like, let's take a break. But you know what? <laughs> but you know what's crazy?